We're back with another transformation. Meet Ebele, my gorgeous client. You may recognize her from our Ankara series. This time around, we went for something more festive, inspired by the Eid season. And here is the final look. Let's get right into it. Because the eyes are the most dramatic part of this look, we started with her eyes. First off, I cleaned up her brow shape. So I'm threading her brows here. Um, she didn't need that much work, just a clean up. So I cleaned up her brows, trimmed them, cleansed the area, and we're on to the good stuff. I filled in her brows with the Hagar and Esther Brow Definer in Toffee. Toffee, as you can see, is a lot lighter than her normal brow shape, but because there's so much drama going to be on her eyes, I wanted to keep her brows well defined, but very light. Cleaned up the shape with Black Opal Stick Foundation, and then I'm just going to tap that out to blend it in with my fingertip. Once I have her brows in place, I'm going to prime her lids. And here I'm using eyeshadow base from NYX. This is a plain white one. I applied that with a synthetic brush, a flat brush, and now I'm blending it out with a fluffy one. First eyeshadow I'm using is Rich Velvet from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm applying this in her crease area. First with a fluffy crease brush, then I blended out the edges with a blending brush. Then with a smaller brush, I'm now going to start cutting her crease. Abella has hooded lids, so her actual crease is like an inch lower than where I am. <laughs> but I'm creating a brand new crease for her. We need space for the drama, so I went way higher. I'm working with her eye socket as opposed to her actual crease. Next, with another flat brush and the same cream base I used earlier, I'm going to clean up um, the cut crease and make it even sharper. Take your time when you're doing this so you can get it as, as neat as possible and I just kind of outlined the shape and then I pull it down towards her eyelid, blend that out again and then we can go in with eyeshadow. Sorry it got bl uh, blurry here, my model kept moving. <laughs> now I'm tapping in the eyeshadow and this is a gold um, artist eyeshadow from Makeup Forever Paris. I'm just tapping that right into the eyeshadow base for maximum color payoff and I'm working with the edge of my brush so that I can be very precise. Once that color is in, we're going to line her um, upper lash line. So we're going to do a winged liner and I'm using liquid liner from Jordana. As I always do, I start off very small and just keep building till it's as thick as I want. I'm now going to create like almost a second cut crease just below the first one and this is just going to give me a little gap um, on her eyelid between the crease and the shadow where we're going to be applying um, some glitter very soon. I switched from the original applicator of the liquid liner to a smaller angled brush just for more precision. Use whatever you're comfortable with. I blended that corner out with matte black eyeshadow from Magnolia Makeup and now I'm putting in some shimmery dark brown eyeshadow between the black and the gold just so everything is kind of seamless. Next up is the glitter. This is Soul Sister from Lit Cosmetics. It's an absolute fave from Lit. It's gorgeous. It's like a brown gold green glitter. Really beautiful. We set her eye, her brow bone with highlighter from City Color. Blend that crease out again. And that's it for the eyes. Um, well, for now anyway. We'll be back for more details. I primed her face with Embryolis Le Creme Concentré. Um, I use this quite a bit. You know, it works really well for me. Then her Mary Kay foundation, I'm using medium cover foundation and I'm applying this all over her face. Mary Kay foundation is bay, okay? It's really, really good, especially if you're trying to work on a budget. Works really well, it's buildable. As you can see, you know, Abella's black spots are pretty much disappearing under this. So I just apply a nice thin layer all over and then I go back in and do a double layer um, where she has a concentration of dark spots. Now I'm highlighting her face with RCMA foundation. So I'm applying that with a small synthetic brush under her eyes. Um, I'm also going to do the same um, down her nose, center of her forehead and her chin as well. Then I'm going in with a damp beauty blender as per usual to blend that out. So I blend and then I set and I'm setting with RCMA no color powder. 
just tap, 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 and I'm going to do the same thing everywhere. Blend with the Beauty Blender and then set with our CME No Color Powder. I apply some of the No Color Powder right under her cheekbones as well, and that's just going to kick off the contour. Now I'm contouring her nose with some stick foundation from Black Opal. Blend that out with the same damp Beauty Blender. And now we're setting her contour with um, Sleek Makeup Contour Kits. The contour goes right um, under her cheekbones, down the sides of her nose, and also around her forehead. Next, I'm taking off all the extra or excess <laughs> no color powder, and then I'm setting the rest of her face with Fashion Fair Pressed Powder. I believe I used Pecan on her. Blend, 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 and her face is good to go. Her lashes are from Amazing Shine, and they're in number 47. These are really dramatic, but they are also so beautiful. They're so, 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 so beautiful. <laughs> I lined her waterline with gel liner from Mary Kay. And her eyes are good. I'm keeping her lips brown in the same family as everything else we've done on her face. So I'm fitting them in now with ultra matte um, lipstick from Magnolia Makeup in Teddy. This is the lighter brown. And then with a darker brown um, called Godiva, I'm going to line her lips, okay? Now, both products are ultra matte. They dry completely matte. So it's very important that you blend them out before they dry. Once they dry, they don't move. So make sure everything is blended like you want it before it dries. That's it for her lips. Her blush is, can you guess? Sienna from La Femme, um, one of my all-time favorites and we are done with the look she really likes it i loved it i love the way the colors and the shades and everything just kind of complements each other and works well um, i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and definitely share the video okay happy seller everyone <laughs>